where on earth do I even begin to fucking dissect this performance? Where on earth do I begin to dissect it? That for me was absolutely fucking disgraceful. Absolutely fucking disgraceful. What the fuck was that palace? Seriously, we are one of the most inconsistent teams going. We can beat West Ham, but we lose to fucking Forest. Are you fucking taking the piss? Hey guys, how's it going? Zed Star here, back with another Operation Palace video. Where on earth do I begin to fucking dissect this performance? Because for me, that was the crappiest performance of the fucking season. What the fuck was that? This team, Nottingham Forest, have conceded 30 goals at fucking home, the worst defence in the league, and we can't even get a fucking shot on target! Are you kidding me? What the absolute fuck was that? I'm sorry if you don't want to see the rage, okay? I do not care. Don't like it, unsubscribe. I do not care anymore because I am fed up with watching shit like that. Seriously, no shots on target against the worst team in the fucking league. Are you fucking taking the piss? Seriously, what the absolute fuck was that? Seriously. Seriously, that wasn't even a goal. That was so far offside. It's such a VAR man can fuck off. Seriously, it's not the. I, I like VAR. It's the corrupt officials behind it. They do not know what they are fucking doing. Seriously, how can you draw up a line from an angle that plays him offside? I'm sorry, am I a prick? Get out of here, man. Fuck this VAR man. Seriously. I'm not going to use that as an excuse, okay? Before anybody comes in the comments and goes, Oh, you're using that as an excuse. No, I'm not. We were pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Dean Henderson pretty much could have got a park bench and sat on it, read a newspaper. No shots on target against the worst place and bottom placed place league in the te the bottom placed team in the league. If I can get my words out, that'd be great. Seriously, what the absolute fuck is that shit all about? I'm seriously, seriously sick to death of, of playing off the park against some bigger teams. And when it comes to small teams like Forest, no disrespect intended to Forest, because they are a small team in the Premier League, if I'm honest with you. No disrespect intended, okay? They're not a good team. They are really not a good team. But if we can't even beat a team like Forest, where the fuck are we going to go this season? Seriously, we had the biggest opportunity to finish the to finish at Christmas in the top eight. And we go and blow it like that. Are you having a fucking laugh? Seriously. Zaha, I don't even know what this, this man is smoking. Get him off the fuck off penalties. He is not good at them. I'm sorry. Tell me, how many has he scored compared to how many has he missed? He's probably missed a ton more than he's scored. I'm sorry, not good enough at penalties. Take him off. Put like Everett Jersey on the penalties or something. Give him a go. Seriously, he's got that sort of quality. He was our best player once again. It cannot be the Everett Jersey so every single fucking week. Seriously, I am sick to death of having to call out this team for fucking poor results like this. Because this is a very poor result. No shots on target to the worst bottom place league team in the division. Are you taking the piss? Seriously. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's just not, not right. Like, I don't know where to dissect, where to even begin. Like, we didn't even have a good... A, none of the players at all had a good game. Like, it was all shit. Absolutely shit. From the whole fucking team. Like... No shots on target. That is the thing that I'm fucking... That's literally what I would have said as well. I'm literally looking at the BBC forum as well. One step forward, two steps back. That is exactly the perfect way to describe that performance. Like, we are so... We, do, we, we, we dominated that first half. 
Like, we were creating the chances, but they need to get it on fucking target. Seriously, do you not work on shooting during the fucking week? Like, when it comes to the big games, you need to be able to put it in the back of the fucking net. Seriously, man, come on. This team just drives me nuts, man. Like... <sighs> that penalty was just the worst penalty I think I've ever seen. That was a shocking penalty. I thought Mateta's penalty was worse against um, Newcastle. Fuck me. One step forward, two steps back. That is the one way to describe this team at the moment. Like, i just got no, no words. We've lost discipline. Is that really the way you're going to describe that, Vieira? Seriously, mate. Sometimes he can be t a tactical genius, but sometimes he can be a fucking clown. Like, seriously. How did we lose discipline? No, we lost the game because we didn't have enough fucking game players on the bench. Like, seriously. Edward was on the bench. He didn't come on to, like, the 75th minute or something stupid like that. Seriously. When, he went, when we went 1-0 down, he should have brought him on then. Seriously. I'm... Um, I don't know what to describe that, man. I'm just so fucking annoyed. So, so annoyed. Like, we deserved so much better than this crap that we constantly get because we are just so inconsistent. We are Mr. Inconsistent FC at the moment, I tell you. No shots on target against Forrest. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, are you taking the fucking piss? 69% possession, 8 shots, none on target. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, no. That's just not right. I mean, they only had two shots on target for us and they scored one of them. And it was very poor defending as well in, in the build-up to that. Um, it went to seven minutes of added time, by the way, as well. How can we not find something in 97 minutes of added... Seven minutes of added time? Like, fuck off. I'm looking at the ratings from BBC Sport. I tell you, none of these ratings are going to be high at all. I tell you that right now. So let's get on into my player rating. Start off and goal. Vincente Gaeta. I think he should have done more for Forrest's winner, if I'm perfectly honest with you. He should have came out to Gibbs White quicker. Um, and he allowed him to score, basically. I think that's piss poor from him. And I'm going to give Gaeta a four. I thought it was very, very poor. Um, Tyrick Mitchell. I've called him out all season, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, I'm very surprised he didn't get a red card in the first half when he brought down. Um, I think it was. Um, I thought it, I think it was Johnson he brought down. Brennan Johnson he brought down. I was very surprised he didn't get a red card. I was so convinced he was going to get a red card. Um, so I think that was his one of his worst performances of the same season. I'm going to give him a three. Um, I thought he was very poor. Um, Gahey again. I thought was very poor. Um, not good enough for him. He can do better than that. He picked up a booking as well. So, again, I'm going to give him a four. Anderson, I felt he was the closest man to Morgan Gibbs-White. He should have done something more. He should have maybe done better. Um, so, I'm going to give him a three. Um, Klein, again, not great. Didn't really contribute much to the game, um, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to give him a, a three as well. I thought he was very poor. Um... Next, I'm going to go into Jeffrey Schlupp again. He headed it out to an end to a Forest player. You know, in the build-up to the goal, he should have cleared it into row fucking Z. Instead, he heads it back to a Forest player, and the pressure continues to build. I'm thinking, what the fuck are you doing, you absolute brain-dead dickhead? Seriously, two. I don't want to see him at the club anymore. He's not good enough for me. Um, seriously, I'm I'm fed up with him. I really am fed up with Jeffrey Schluck, if I'm being completely honest. Um, him and Luka Milivojevic can fuck off as far as I'm concerned. Not good enough for me. Um, I'm going to give him a two. Um, Decore, not great. Um, he did the best he could, but at the end of the day, I think he got very much overrun by Forrest um, in the second half in particular. Um, I'm going to give him a four. Um, then Michael Elise, he had our best chance, really. Um, a good free kick into the box. But, again, the four players just can't control it. And I'm going to give him a four. Um, the best rating for me is Eberechieze. Um For me, he definitely tried his hardest to get us into the game. Um, so, for me, I'm going to give him a five. Um, that's man of the match. So, that's saying something. That's how poor I believe we were. Um, 
Then we're going to go into Wilf Zaha, miss the penalty, don't need to say more about him, get him off fucking penalties, not good enough, um, three, um, and then Jordan Ayew, he, he tried his hardest, but at the end of the day, not good enough for me as well, he had a couple of wayward shots as well, um, but for his effort, I'll give him a four, um, so, yeah, those ratings are not great at all, are they? Um, for the team, um, Vieira's rating, I'm going to give him a four as well. I definitely thought he should have brought on um, Odson Edward much sooner than he did. Um, so, I'm just trying to see when he brought him on. Sorry, bear with me. Uh, yeah, he brought him on in the 85th minute. I'm thinking, are you fucking mad? Like, we went 1-0 down in the 55th minute, 54th minute, 55th minute, something like that. And he's bringing Edward on in the 85th minute. I'm sorry. Am I a prick? What the... F Why? Why are you bringing him on so late? Bring him on sooner. Bring him on at 65 minutes. 60 minutes. Something like that. Don't bring him on in the 85th minute. He's got not got any fucking time to do anything. Seriously. I do not understand. Malcolm Everway. Sorry, he's crap. Get rid of him. Uh, get him out on loan. He, he needs to be out on loan for me. Um, Ward, rubbish, crap. Um, he even picked up a booking as well. Um, Hughes, again, not great. I definitely think he could have done better. Um, I don't know where to start this performance, to be honest. At least there's an international break now, so you won't see my mug, ugly mug for a while. Um, I, pop, I might do a World Cup predictions video as well. Um, so, but if not, I'm not overly fussed. Um, you know, I will try and get some videos out there during this period as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just beyond angry. You know, when I saw that result on Saturday, I pretty much had to switch my phone off straight away because I was like, I'm going to get angry, I'm going to get mad, and I'm still fucking fuming right now, as you can quite clearly see. So that's it for Operation Palace. Make sure you leave this video a like. Please leave this video a like. Share it with your friends. Um, if you're a fellow Palace fan like myself, share the video to your other Palace mates. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. I'll try and do these videos pretty much as regularly as I can. Um, so yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you soon.